Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, Book 1, and Jesus the Coked Up Chicken, Number 1, Special Edition, now on Amazon. Banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room for the review of The King of Fighters. 14. I always forget what number they're on. 14. The King of Fighters 14 is a fighting game where you punch and you kick and you can even fight your opponents without wearing pants. Like this girl who's pretty much impossible to use but uh, very comfortable in her underwear not wearing pants and all but here's the thing you have no idea if I'm wearing pants right now. You don't know. Maybe I'm wearing a kilt, or a burlap sack, the King of Fighters, 14. or a tire. Why, maybe I haven't worn pants in a long time. The studio shots can be misleading. Maybe I'm like the guy from Smash TV with tank treads instead of legs. This may be all that I have to talk about for the rest of the review, because the King of Fighters 14 is an okay fighting game. It's not bad, but it's hard to say what makes it really stand out. This series has been around forever, you know, since the Neo Geo days. And I've genuinely enjoyed the King of Fighters games over the years. That girl looks like she's on crack. And hey, Mai's not wearing pants either. Pants just get in the way. The King of Fighters 14 has all of your fighting game kind of stuff, single player, multiplayer. There's even a storyline mode that doesn't really have much of a storyline, you just play through the game. This is a perfectly serviceable fighting game, in fact it's one that you can even find for a decent price already. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's just hard to say what makes it better than something else. Because Dead or Alive 5 seems to be a better looking game. In fact, I think Mai's character actually looks a lot better in DOA 5 than she does here in her own game. This is the PlayStation 4 version, and they actually did a big graphics update a couple months after it came out. Maybe it was a few weeks, I don't know. But it looks better than it did initially. I'm assuming this is not the biggest budget fighting game out there. But it plays perfectly well. I had a lot of fun playing this one, beat the game. It plays great with the Hori RAP4 Premium Vulix Fight Stick. Didn't get any footage of it, but I'm using that controller for the review here. Like the other King of Fighters games, you assemble a team and then fight the enemy team. There's a lot of characters to choose from. Some of them are very difficult to use, but better if you master them. Others are far simpler, which, is, which are obviously the ones that I use because I suck at these games. But my friend Marcus gave me some online PlayStation tutorial instruction and showed me how to use some of the more complex characters. There's actually quite a bit of depth in here. And if you like fighting games, odds are you're probably familiar with the series. But if you're not, this one's easy enough to dive into and then has some harder characters that will take some more practice. My team is normally comprised of Mai, the kid with the headphones, and the girl with the pirate hat. All three of whom are fairly easy to use. The backgrounds look nice, the character designs and animations look nice, but these days we expect all of that. It's not like the 90s when games like Fighting Masters for the Sega Genesis showed us just how terrible video games could be. But Fighting Masters and other fighting games from the 90s had personality, and that's what's lacking from The King of Fighters 14. It does nothing wrong. It's a fun fighting game, but these are so difficult to review these days because they're all good. 
I think that if you like fighting games, you're either going to like this game or not. Maybe you like Blaze Blue more, or Street Fighter, or King of Fighters. Wait, this is King of Fighters. What's the other one I was thinking of? Dead or Alive. Mortal Kombat kind of stands out there with its own thing, but a lot of the other ones do get uh, do get confusing. Do I like it? Yes. Will you like it? That depends on whether or not you like to wear pants. As you've probably figured out by now, the bar on the bottom of the screen is like your special attack power bar. Fill that up and you can unleash some special attacks. Some of them are pretty tricky. This one has a training mode so you can practice all of your button combos and the online gameplay seemed pretty easy to dive into. I played this one on Twitch a couple times and people didn't seem all that excited about it, but at the same time I think everyone's expectations are just too high these days. That's why I like the 90s fighting games that failed miserably, like Fighting Masters and Pit Fighter. They're not good games, but they have a lot of character and you have to admire that. My deep thought for the day, I'm, I'm not sure what the King of Fighters needs to do next. I assume that these games will eventually all be moving into virtual reality. Will that make them any better? I have no idea. This one is fun. It's a great fighting game if you like these fighting games. If you're a fan of the King of Fighters series, they'll, they'll probably never be as good as they were on the Neo Geo, but I think this one is still a solid modern entry. And I've got a pantsless classic game room shout out and thank you going to my man Kelvin from Cuba, Missouri once again. Thank you for sending this to the show in space where pants are optional. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Ethel the Cyborg Ninja, now on Amazon and Classic Game Room Barware. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from within. A Turbo, Turbo Volcano. Volcano! Starting with Jeff Breyer. <laughs> Derek Langley. <laughs> Michael and Ariana Nelson. <laughs> Benjamin Woodring. Benjamin Woodring. Steven Chucknick. Steven Chucknick. Al Stever. Al Stever. <laughs> Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. Jason Goy. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sink Bell. Dizzy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Rick DeBarros. Rick DeBarros. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Ohad Kane. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto. Portugal. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva from Porto, Portugal. <laughs>